Hi there everybody, it's me Cassie, and this is like the fifth time I've recorded this video. So originally I downloaded the Firestorm beta viewer because there were a few bugs on there that they fixed in the beta that I wanted to have on my viewer. Most like mostly the you right click edit your appearance, you would get like, even if you just put on a new tattoo or something, you would get weird blocky colors all over your skin. And so they fixed that. So that's really nice. Now you can actually like just see everything when you're in edit shape. And that was really hard for me to make shapes during that because it, it would just be like brown, like half my body would be brown and it was frustrating. So that was cool. Um, there's still a bug that's bothering me that like I it randomly keeps losing my shape in the database. So I've made like five copies of the current shape I have now in hopes that it won't happen again. It happened right before I made this video. <laughs> it still happens in this uh, viewer too. So, but it also happens in Black Dragon. So I think it's a Second Life issue, not a Firestorm issue. Anyways. I downloaded this beta viewer and really there's not too many differences in this one versus the original. It's all about the photo tools and the lighting. So EEP, um, it is, I just I knew what it was and I already forgot the word for it. Um, environmental enhancement project. So it's a new way of rendering Second Life. And at first I was really confused on how you get sun and moon. So right here we have our days. So we have sunrise, midday, sunset, midnight. So let's go to midday and we are going to open up photo tools. We can also just go to like a random wind light. We can go here, desert sunset or digital legacy clean. Okay. But you can already see like the difference in quality of Firestorm here, like based on how this looks versus just the last video I did. The quality is just completely different. It looks like the render looks a lot nicer. I don't know what they did to change that, but it looks really nice. Um, but all of these other tabs are the same. I've done a lot of videos covering these tabs. So if you're curious about it, just go watch those videos or uh, just ask questions in the comments below and I can always link you or I can tell you more about it or I'll make another video on it. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of Firestorm videos lately because I'm obsessed with Black Dragon. Ooh. But Black Dragon has been doing EEP for a while ever since. Uh, the Linden uh, viewer came out, this SLV, that's what I call it, Second Life viewer, came out. Um, and they've been working so hard to try and keep up and fix all the bugs and stuff. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen a harder programmer in my life. Like, Niren is amazing. Um, but, uh, so I do have like a general idea of what EEP is, thanks to Black Dragon viewer. Uh, but since this is in the beta phase, it is a lot different from it. Uh, we have a lot of wind lights on here compared to the Black Dragon one. They they just imported a bunch of them that were already there and just kind of converted them into EEP. Um, wow, okay. Of all the ones I pick, I pick no light. Um, but I figured we could mess with the one that I use the most when it comes to wind lights, and that is Anna Adored's Realistic Ambient. Okay, so over here we have our wind light sky. Uh, we can't save any of the old wind lights we had. All of my old wind lights are gone. So that's a shame. And we can't save any currently, maybe because it's in beta. I don't know. Uh, but they also have the water ones right here. Uh, I don't think I can edit water just yet. You can just use the ones that are in this. I just came down here just so you could at least see these. They have a few of them. Um, so far, it looks like they just have personal lighting, though. They don't have um, it set to editing water yet. So let's go on back. Anyways, we're going to cam on myself, and we're going to look at the settings that we have. So we're going to edit the Anna Adored Realistic Ambient just to get a clue. If you ever want to reset and go back to the normal wind light, just go to click Personal Lighting, hit this X right next to it, and it'll go back to the shared environment. And that's just like the region environment, but yes. We're going to go here and we're going to click personal lighting. The nice thing about this is you can mod it a lot and you close it and it won't reset like it did when you do edit wind light. So that's a nice little update. I like that. So we're going to close this right here and we're going to look at all of this. So a lot of this is the same as it was with uh, photo, the photo tools in the last video. Look at my cross eyes. What the heck is going on? Um, but now it's formatted differently. So we have the sun and moon over here. I've noticed that... Uh, the moon will show based on what daylight setting you have it set at. So if we go to environment midnight, um, the sun will gray out and then the blue will become more prominent or not. There we go. There we go. Took a minute. 
So then you can actually use the moonlight for your lighting, or you can go back to midday, or use whatever lighting you were using before, and it'll go to whichever one that was. So if it's a sunset as well, that one's different, but I think it focuses on the sun. It doesn't work with the moon. The moon midnight one is the only one that works with the moon. And yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. So if you're ever wondering what the moon does and why it's grayed out, there's your answer. You can also see the beacon. It'll show a little line right here. You can see this little faint line right there, and it'll show which direction your sun is currently at. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, keep getting sidetracked. We are going to first just look at all of this. I did also get a question asking if, uh, if, projectors still work so let's just do fx i have some projectors from fox city you can edit we can drag this out and yes projectors still work perfectly fine with it look how pretty that is actually that's really pretty it works perfectly fine the only thing that's really changing is the ambience and uh the lighting like just how you set up your photo tools and now you can also decorate your skies um, you can't change your sun and moon shape just yet, but you can decorate the clouds, which is kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> earlier I put, um, got distracted. Okay, anyways, uh, we are going to go through here, go back to personal lighting, and stop being distracted. So, they moved where our sun color and cloud color is. All of these have just been kind of rearranged. So we still have our ambient, so if we want to have... I'm going to try and remake my vlogging lighting that I normally use. So I'm going to go for like a like brownish tone here. A little darker. I'm going to have to raise my scene gamma just a little bit because that's a major factor of it. I'm also going to move the sun down here and face the region that I have. It's really cool. You no longer have to do like daytime, nighttime, and what time it's at and what angle it's at. It's all just in this orbit, which is really neat. So it's a lot easier to get the lighting that you want just based on which direction you're at. Since I am facing like a little southeast, then we have this. It's neat. Okay, I moved again just to hang on at Fledge Rock. If you haven't been there yet, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's a new Wizarding World roleplay and caters mostly to like finishing school and adults like college and stuff. Um, so I brought Cassie back anyways, so we are going back to this. I keep closing it um, But now we can also adjust the scale like it's a lot of stuff that was already there You can adjust the glow focus as well as the scale of the lighting glow size We can adjust star brightness, but that only really matters if it's at night You don't need stars during the Sun. I guess you could if you want we have the haze horizon. All this stuff is just like how it used to be with the Firestorm video. I did a ton of videos on that, so you can check that out. A really cool thing is let's cam on out here and let's look up at our sky. And we have cloud coverage. So now you can also adjust the clouds a lot easier. It's all just on one screen instead of its own section. I never used it because it was in that section, so it's kind of cool to have its own thing. Uh, so you can adjust that. The haze horizon will also just hide it a bit more. It, it can look really pretty, though. But we can also change the sun color. Let's see if we can see the beacon for it. You can see it like glinting off of the roof. <laughs> yeah, off the roof right there. It's weird that you can't actually see it. Like I haven't been able to actually see it. It's kind of weird. I wonder if it's because I have it at sunset or something. Let's see. Let's go to Firement Midday. Will I see it more then? Personal lighting. Oh, where'd it go? Okay. There's the sun. Okay, so now we can see it right there. So I guess it does depend on if you have it at midday, sunrise, sunset, and midnight. So that's really specific. I kind of hope that they'll put that as an option on here too, like that you can just go straight to that instead of having to go to world. Um, but let's see what colors we can make our sun. Oh, that's cool. It's really bright. So let's just go like a normal yellowy look. Cloud color, we have no clouds right now, so let's fix that. We can have those be a cool, funky color. Let's do like bright pink, maybe. Change the cloud scale as well. Another really cool thing about this, though, is click that cloud image and you can change it. It is so neat. It'll just stay blank for a bit while the rent fit photo is rendering, but I don't see it yet. 
Let's go with this though. Let's see if we can find it. Cloud scale, maybe? There you go. Now you can see it. Those are the little nebulas. Earlier though, the first time I recorded this, I just went right on up to my textures and clicked erratic Nancy bikini. And it eventually just you can see like the texture for it and all that. It's so funny. I love it. Like, look, there's just boobs in the sky now. It's pretty amazing. I love it. So you can get pretty creative with this if you want. You can just upload your own clouds, do whatever floats your boat, but you can also just go to library and use what they have in here to textures. You could even use their moon, have a bunch of moons as your clouds. Just let it render in. It's probably taking a while because I'm on a roleplay sim instead of on my empty platform. Okay. Okay. Where are they at? Where are my moons at? There they are. Let's change the scale. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really neat. It has, still has a lot of stuff that you can use. I did just see a message on my Plurk saying whenever they try to take a photo with EEP, they kept crashing. I haven't had that issue yet. I already took a photo. I'll show it right here. Uh, just when I was showing that I could do it. Um, uh, and someone said, and I thought you could have your old wind lights in EEP. They just look a little different. I don't see them here. I just brought in my... Everything else is the same. I, I backed up my Firestorm and it's all the same memory. I just don't have my wind lights. So I think they're just gone. And plus I can't save wind lights anyway, so I don't know why they would still be there. So I bet maybe they meant the original wind lights that come with this. Um, but projectors work fine too. This is, it's pretty neat. I like how it looks. I like how I look in it. I feel like the quality, the photo quality looks really nice. So I personally give it a thumbs up. It definitely has a lot of room for improvement. Uh, there's definitely a lot of fixes I think need to happen, but otherwise I'm pretty impressed. So I look forward to seeing what the other bugs are. Fire Second Life, please fix the friggin' shape loss thing. It's really annoying. And I will see you guys in the next video. I wasn't planning on making this, but here you go. Bye.